So to maintain consistency between multiple projects inside of Camtasia, you can create and use custom themes. So to create a custom theme, I'm simply going to go to file right here. And then from file, I'm going to go to manage themes. So once I go to manage theme, you can see that default is the only choice that we have right now because we haven't created any custom themes yet. So let us create a custom theme and let's say I want to create a custom theme for our YouTube channel, Tutor 2. So to do that, I'm just going to click on this plus button right here, just like this. And then I'm going to rename it as Tutor 2, just like this. So once we do that, I'm going to press OK. And over here, you can see that colors have been chosen randomly, just like that. So there I have a preview background over here, which is turned on. So I'm just going to go around into logo and choose our logo, which we want to keep. So I'm just going to go to browse right here and I'm going to go to my TutorTube folder where I have my TutorTube logo in. So I just open that out and you can see that the logo is there. We can also choose our font. So I'm just going to choose around and font mirrored pro, which is the font that I use, uh, that I use for my channel or more specifically, Mirrored Pro Condense, just like this. And you can see that the same style has been used now across all the different previews that you have right here. You can also go to colors and choose the color that you want. So I'm just going to use the color picker and maybe I want to use this particular shade of red. So I'm just using this as a color picker. And over here in background too, I'm simply going to use the black color right here. Maybe that is for the TT2 font. So I just need to go over here, choose the black color. Similarly, I can choose the accent right here. So I'm just going to choose something like this. I'm just going to use something like uh, somewhere in between red itself, but I'm just going to use a light red. So it gives a bit of a pinkish color. And now you can see that my, uh, my, um, um, uh, my theme has been made. So, but this is not showing up. So I'm just going to go around and maybe use a darker color over here, just like that. So I'm just going to use maybe this color right here. So this is the one I want, so I'm just going to click on save. So just like that, my theme has been made. So I can go around here onto uh, something like, uh, let's say for example, library. And over here in the library, I can go and select Camtasia just like this and drag this in over here. So I have my asset dragged in just like this. Now I can simply go on to the theme section and select it to tube and you can see that it immediately changes the color scheme according to what I like. Of course, I can go around and change it according to what I want later as well. And I'm just going to go around. And if I were to go around into something else right here, you can see that it is not in my color scheme. But once I choose the theme right here, you can see that it immediately changes out the font and the color to match what I have. So let's just go around and see the examples in other parts as well. So I got something like this right over here. I can go around, select the theme, and then it changes around the font right here. Just like this, you can see right here. The, but over here, there's a white font which is showing up. So it is not really uh, showing that out much. So it does not work with all of the themes. So that's like stationary right here. Let's select the theme and there you go. It changes out the font right there on that one. So different things, as you can see, uh, just like that. If there's some of the things use logo or something else like this one, it actually uses logo. So if I were to go to TutorTube, you can see that it replaced out with TutorTube logo right over there, just like that. And you can see that it really looks cool, just like that. And that is how you can use custom themes and use themes inside of Camtasia. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.